Hello beautiful people, I'm about to show you how to use Mael's Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Hair Butter on Natural Hair to create a beautiful style. The first thing you're going to need is obviously Mael's Moisture RX Hair Butter, a rat tail comb and a detangling comb. The best thing about Mael's Hair Butter is that it works well on dry hair. So all you're going to do is create two lines that meet at the crown of the client's head. The first part starts by the air and the second part you position wherever the client wants the hair to fall. My client wanted a bang. So I made sure that her second part allowed for that to happen. Next, you're going to make four braids in that section. I already started, so I'm just showing you the amount of product I use. This butter feels so good and you do not need a lot. Just make sure to distribute the butter throughout the dry piece of hair. A beautiful alternative to doing cornrows is that you can do flat twists. My client prefers braids, so we just decided to go with braids and I'm going to end the braid with twists. As we get towards the ends, I am just going to add some more hair butter, baby, and then split the three sections into two and proceed to twist all the way down to the ends. Don't forget to add hair butter to every section of hair that you are braiding or twisting. Mael's Hawaiian Ginger Hair Butter is water-based, so it's great for providing moisture and locking in any beautiful style, whether the hair is damp or dry. We decided to make small bantu knots at the ends instead of leaving her hair out. Feel free to do the same by just twisting the ends around each other and then securing with a hairpin. For the rest of the hair, I am going to do flat twists. I am positioning all of the twists to come forward to her forehead because once again, she wants that bang. And I am definitely using more hair butter for every twist that I make. Just like I did with the braided area, I am going to take the ends of the twist that I created and make small bantu knots. This will give her extra definition at the ends so that when she takes it out tomorrow, she will have the desired look that she wants. This is the end result of her twist set. Don't worry if yours looks different. Don't forget, I positioned the hair to set the way she wants it to lay when we unravel it. It's time to unravel. The hair butter had time to marinate her strands. I am just rubbing a little extra hair butter in my fingers to lubricate it so that when I am unraveling, her hair is still getting just a little bit of shine and moisture. Baby, look at this twist. It looks so good. And just think, this was on dry hair. 
be very, very careful as you are unraveling the twist so that you don't disrupt the end result. Keep in mind, this was from one overnight. The longer you let it sit, the more defined your end result will be. She was so excited to see the end result and loved it, but I told her I had one more trick up my sleeve. It was time to fluff. If you are also into big hair, all you're going to do is get a wide tooth comb or a pick and gently lift at the roots. Look at that volume. Once you're finished fluffing, the look is complete. And now it's your turn. Head to Target, grab some Hawaiian Ginger Hair Butter by Mayel and give it a try. Happy styling.